Welcome to Hurry Up Pinball, a show where I teach you how to work on your pinball machine. Today I will show you how to install the Star Wars Pro Airball Protector. So grab your tools and let's get going. I recently picked up a Star Wars Pro and noticed I was getting a lot of airballs off the monitor targets and the TIE Fighter target. I purchased this airball protector from Measel Mods and it has drastically reduced the number of airballs. There is a Pro version and a premium LE version available, which I will link in the description. Before beginning this installation, be sure you have access to both sides of the pinball cabinet. Now open the coin door, remove the lockdown bar, then remove the playfield glass. In order to install the airball protector, we will need to remove some hardware. Here is a look at the hardware you will need to remove that is located just behind the monitor. The airball protector will sit just underneath the washers located here. You will also need to remove the two screws located here along with the TIE fighter to install the airball protector. To remove the TIE fighter, grab a flathead screwdriver and remove the screw seen here. I would recommend removing it by hand when there are still a few threads left to avoid dropping the screw into the pinball machine. Now take an allen wrench or bit and loosen the screw seen here. There is a black spacer on the screw, and although I did it here, you do not need to remove the spacer from the screw. Next, you need to remove the two screws that hold on the clear plastic located behind the monitor. Just below the clear plastic, there are two small black spacers. After removing the clear plastic, be sure to grab the two black spacers as they are easy to miss. Here you can see one of the spacers I am referencing. At this time, I would recommend placing a small towel on the playfield so you can rest the monitor and any hardware you remove on the playfield. To remove the monitor mounting bracket, you need to remove the two screws seen here. Go ahead and remove the two screws holding on the mounting bracket using a Phillips screwdriver. Next, use a nut driver to remove the two standoff posts and washers. Be gentle when removing the washers as they can sometimes stick to the playfield plastics. After removing the standoff posts and washers, remove the two screws and the washers on the left side of the ramp. Before installing the protector, I test fit it to get an idea of how it sits when properly installed. I left the blue protective covering in place so you can see how it sits. Now remove the protective covering from both sides of the protector and install it. I would recommend sliding the tab under the ramp before lining up the posts and holes. You will need to raise the TIE Fighter Allen screw in order to slide the protector into place. Again, make sure the tab is properly positioned under the ramp before proceeding to the next step. Here is how it should look when properly installed. Next, reinstall the two washers for the monitor along with the two standoff posts. Install the two screws just behind the stand-up target and use your Allen key to tighten down the TIE Fighter screw. If you remove the black spacer post from the screw, make sure you reinstall it before tightening down the TIE Fighter screw. Now grab the monitor bracket and install it using the two screws you previously removed. This next step can be a bit tricky. You need to place the monitor into position, then place the small black spacer, the clear plastic, and then install the long screw. I found it best to place this screw through the plastic protector, then add the spacer under the plastic, and then place it into position and tighten it down. Repeat this process for the other screw that holds on the monitor. With the monitor installed, grab the TIE Fighter screw and install the TIE Fighter using a flathead screwdriver. Make sure the spring slides over the top of the Allen screw you previously tightened. With the installation complete, remove the towel from the playfield and any tools that you used. Here are two pictures of how the airball protector should look when it is properly installed on Star Wars Pro. 
If everything looks good, go ahead and install the Playfield glass and lockdown bar. At this time, turn on the pinball machine and be sure to play a few test games to double check your work. This is Craig with Hurry Up Pinball and I wanted to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, show your support for Hurry Up Pinball and click the subscribe button. We can also be found on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under Hurry Up Pinball.